The death of 33-year-old Derek Dionisio remains a mystery to his grieving family. The account that was given leading up to his death stems from a domestic dispute between Dionisio and his common law, who is a police officer. According to one police source, Dionisio had gotten into a physical altercation with his partner and threatened to take her life. She filed a police report against Dionisio, and shortly after he was picked up by police, things took a grave turn after Dionisio was detained when he asked police if he could make a stop at his home for a change of clothes before being taken into custody. Officers complied with his request, and upon entering his home, Dionisio then withdrew a firearm stashed within the house and turned the gun on himself. We note that this is one of the many accounts circulating regarding his death. The question remains as to why the father of 12 would want to take his own life, allegedly in the presence of police officers, just moments before he was to be brought in at the Dangriga police station. His family, on the other hand, isn't buying that story and claims that up to now, police have yet to inform them of the incident. Until a relative from the States called my mother to inform her about the news. Up to now, no police. They don't come, they don't say nothing. They don't call, they don't say nothing. Yesterday, me and my sister and my two cousins, we gone, we gone, gone, received the body. And I asked the police the questions, you know, just answer me because we deserve to know what happened. And instead of they just answer me, they're like, um, let's go boy, let's go, let's go, jump in on the mobile, skid off and gone. That they know an animal, that the human, that the somebody loved one, you understand? We deserve to know what happened to my uncle. To be honest, I'm very confused, I'm angry, and I'm hurt. The family claims that Dionisio was good-natured and they did not detect any suicidal tendencies prior to the incident. They suspect that foul play was involved given the many holes in the story and questions yet to be answered. Did your uncle ever mention to you that he was having issues with the person who was involved in this incident or did he ever mention you know, anything concerning to you that he would want to take his own life? No, ma'am, never, never come and say he have issue with the person he there with. Never come to me and tell me he will take his own life. This is the foul play, miss. I know what I tell you. The way how I see my uncle, I know this is the foul play. Mm -hmm. Nobody can tell me that they don't want the police kill my uncle. We deserve to know what happened to her. Because if they the care of retrieve her arm, well, shotgun from Hope Creek, why he never handcuff if they me done detain her? Why he never handcuff? More questions than answers tonight, and nothing more than memories. Well, my uncle Amir, very loving person. He love his children, love his sister, love his nieces and nephew. If anything, you could always call Pana. If something happened to me, he that the first person I always think about to call. Because he will come to my rescue, no matter what I do, you understand? So, when my mother was going to work, he had come, cook for we, hang out with we, play with we, you know? So, I have a lot of memories of my uncle. I don't find out to be aggressive, I don't find out to, you know, be suicidal, I don't find out to trouble nobody. He's never that type of person. Jo Marie Lanza, 7 News.